the mighty Kardashians fighting back. TMZ tells us the Kardashian clan is furious, fit to be tied over a Star Magazine report that claims some of their products are manufactured in sweatshops. It says Kardashian products are being made by kids in China as young as 16 years old under horrible conditions, and it claims these kids are virtually in prison. The Kardashians are reportedly furious at these claims, and they're threatening to sue Star Magazine for libel. I want to point out again, we have not been able to independently confirm anything that is in the Star Magazine report. Straight out to Mike Walters, the news manager for TMZ. Mike, you're all over the story. What's the latest from the Kardashians? Well, the, Kardar the Kardashian family is prepping to sue uh, everybody involved in this story because they claim not only uh, do they not use child labor or sweatshops to make their products, but that they don't know where this came from and they were blindsided by the entire thing. And let me explain, Jane, we spoke to the Institute for Global Labor and Human Rights who did the investigation into the factories in China that were reported on in this article uh, in the magazine. The problem is the Institute said directly to me, well, the conditions in China in this area, this region are horrible. They're, hor they're horrific, they're horrible. Uh, there's all this stuff is going on. But we haven't actually gone into the factories used by the Kardashians and their products. Uh, I can tell you, well, yes, there's probably violations. But Jane, the problem is when you convict the Kardashians in the headline of a big story like this, and you don't actually have the research to back it up, that's not only irresponsible, but you have legal problems coming your way full force. Well, yes, if you're going to make an accusation against a specific company, then it's incumbent upon you to actually do the research and not speak in generalities. That's outrageous. That's right. We reached out well, to the Kardashians. Go ahead. Yeah, well, and the other thing is, you can do the article, but, and it's your, if you're your outlet, if it's CNN and wants to do a news story, that's fine. The problem is when you cite a source in your news story, and that source then tells the media that they didn't actually have the research, that's when you have a problem. Well, we reached out to the Kardashians for a response. We did not hear back. However, Chris Jenner told TMZ, as far as I know, the factories that are used to manufacture their Kardashian clothing and shoes have nothing terrible going on at all. The factories are very well policed and meet factory standards. But she also admitted that she's not visited the factory. So I think, Mike, what would be a good idea now that this issue has been raised is for the Kardashians to get on one of their private jets and go to China and do a surprise inspection, <laughs> keep the cameras rolling, and put it on their reality show, whatever they find, no matter what. What do you think? Absolutely. That is a great idea. And we are actually told one of the companies, Shoe Dazzle, which is owned by Robert Shapiro, who you know, the attorney, uh, that company actually has a UCLA graduate um, person who works for the company in China with his family full time monitoring these factories. So it would be very easy for the Kardashians to get over there, stay with this person, or at least meet with their employee who's in the factory and say, listen, there's a lot of stuff coming up about, about our business here. We want to know what's going on and make sure that it's not what they say it is. And if it is, cut bait on all those companies and apologize. And then you know what? Why don't they put some of the money back into these, act these activist uh, companies that are going over there and trying to change the human rights. And if they do that, I think that would be the right thing, Jane. Well, I'm with you 100%.